Start the music. Okay, let's go. You know, I'm thinking when it comes to YouTube, it's not just about getting subscribers. It's about getting an audience who's going to watch you every day. What, are you kidding me? Because like all things in this world, it's, a, it's kind of a business. Everybody's got to survive making money somehow. We are hilarious. And YouTube is no different. They want people to watch all the stuff that's on there so that they can get advertisers so that they can make money. Now what are you doing? Because if YouTube doesn't get people who go to YouTube, they don't get advertisers and they don't get money and they will have to close down. Are you finished yet? So you can't cheat the system by just getting people to subscribe to your channel. You have to do something to make it entertaining so that people will want to see your site every day. Time. But my cousin, I think he's talking about me, Wally B. I hate being on camera. But my cousin says we all grew up with Sesame Street and music videos, so everything is always cut with a rapid pace. Everything is designed for a short attention span. It's not a homo And I don't know what the trick is to getting an audience. I'm just doing what I have to do, and my cousin is doing what he has to do, and everybody's doing what they have to do to do whatever it is they have to do in order to try and make a living in this crazy world. Yeah, that's funny. But I think most people who are on YouTube who are trying to do something entertaining and have a native block or have a block of some sort to talk about stuff, they just want to be heard. And sometimes they are heard, sometimes they get an audience, sometimes they don't. Okay, let's wrap it up. There are all kinds of people on YouTube who get big audiences because they have something to say or because they're entertaining or because they just do stuff that people want to see. No, he's a girl man. So for the natives out there, it's not just a matter of putting stuff up on YouTube. You have to do something that is entertaining, that stands out from the rest, or has something to say, or is just enjoyable to watch. And hopefully, the non-native people out there, they will want to see it too. And if you're going to do something on camera, and you don't have a good microphone or good lighting, it's going to look or sound kind of cheesy. If you can just pump in the light a bit more, it'll improve the picture quality big time. Doesn't matter what kind of camera you have. Plus, if you want better sound, you can't do it by yelling across the room because it's just going to sound cheesy. Best thing to do is to move in a little bit closer or get a microphone and your sound will improve big time. There you go. One quick lesson on making things look a little more appealing to the average internet YouTube viewer. And the music background sure doesn't hurt anything and it can add a lot. But it's best to use something original or something that you have permission to. Otherwise, if it belongs to somebody else, they can easily get your video shut down. Don't just subscribe. Also watch daily and get your friends to watch daily. That's funny. Because YouTube is a perfect place to show people all over the world what native people are like. Plus, it's also the internet, so the average viewer is not really that fussy about editing. So long as the content is there, it doesn't matter how choppy the editing picture is. So long as what you have to say is being said relatively quickly, with not a lot of pauses. That's just for the internet though. Making an actual movie is different. Because we are all one people, even the people who aren't natives, we are all one people. We are all human beings trying to make a living in this world and trying to survive doing whatever it is that we know how to do. Whether it's working out there in the world or whether it's just trying to survive on our skills and our talents. Okay, bring the music up and fade out. Or cut to the next shot. <laughs>